just stomp you out huh. Came with all my goons, we gon' thug it out Go hit bust and move, we gon' stomp you out Next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is a rematch. There's no rematch clause for uh, Vasily Lomachenko, but we're asking, we want to know from the boxing public and, and the panelists here, would you like to see a rematch between Vasily Lomachenko and Teofimo Lopez? And if not, who do you think they should fight? I'm going to start this one off with G. Um. I'm going to say no, but I do want to see the rematch, but not an immediate rematch. And the reason why is because, yeah, I don't really believe that uh, Teofimo is truly undisputed. You know what I mean? Because that WBC belt to me just doesn't make sense. You know, like I seen him with the belt, but I'm like, that's the franchise belt. We know Devin Haney got the real WBC belt. So I'm like, yo, why don't you just. Two times, two no. times. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> that's the Devin Haney, I love you, bro. Like, they, them two need to actually fight and just unify the division for real, you know? Um, and, and, and that's why, to me, it's like, set up that fight. If you can't get the Devin Haney fight, then, you know, go get Tank fight. You know what I mean? Because, like, Tank is... Like, he got a WBA belt, too. But but his is the regular. You know what I'm saying? Like, he still got the super. The super, to me... Is above the regular, you know what I mean? But at the very least, Devin, least, Devin got the regular. But the regular is the real belt, though, for WBC. They got a super one. That's the franchise one, bro. They said they were going to elevate whatever. Uh, they, they said they were going to elevate To. So they go going to do something to make him undisputed. You and this is WBC right. we're talking about. You see, we be crooks. You know what I mean? That's not right. We be changing okay. our minds. <laughs> we be <laughs> out. <laughs> I'm telling you, they, they emailed Devin like, yo, bro, we need that belt back again. You know what I'm saying? And so, it just ain't right, man. Just have the champs fight it out. Like, let the real champs duke it out so we could truly have an undisputed fighter. Well, what makes Devin a real champ? Because he won the belt. Remember, when? remember when? Loma? When? Loma? When? No, tell me. No, no. Answer the question. Uh, when did Devin win the belt? No, he didn't win the belt because oh, Loma gave up the belt. Oh, 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 Hold up. Oh, 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 oh. Loma gave up. So what makes him a real, so makes him a real champ then? Yo, he won the belt. Remember, he had a... Uh, uh, whoa, when? No, he didn't. What fight did he win the belt in? No, listen, listen, listen. I agree with what y'all are saying, but what I'm saying is, if a champ gives up the belt, right, and you win the belt, right, that's not your fault. You still the champ. You know what I'm saying? The champ gave up his okay, belt. Okay, correction. If you win the belt, but when did he win the win belt? Win the belt. You know, but won the belt. But he got it in email. Oh, he got it in email. But, <laughs> but walk with me on this. They still gave him the belt. And the reason, all right, listen. All right, y'all, this is, this is me. This ain't a conspiracy. This is just regular. Yeah, I get what you're saying. I get what you're Loma saying. did not want It's not necessarily a good thing either. No, listen, <laughs> I'm, I'm going in. Loma did not want to fight Devin Haney. Loma won the belt, and within a month, Loma relinquished the belt. How you just get the belt and then relinquish it within one month? Because he didn't want to fight Devin next for that belt. So they just said, hey, you know what? Loma doesn't want the belt. Loma petitioned for the franchise belt because uh, what's his name? Mar Mauricio Suleiman said it. Yo, we didn't give him franchise. He requested franchise. So we said, okay, cool. You know what I mean? So now you didn't want to keep the belt for whatever our reason. I think it's because he didn't want to fight Devin Haney. It could be maybe he didn't want to fight um, mandatories. I don't know. Whatever. He gave up the belt once he won it. Devin got the belt. Then they took it away. Then they gave it back. All I know is Devin is currently the WBC champ, and he should get respected as such. Now – and because he has that belt, and because the franchise, from my understanding of the franchise belt was, it's not transferable. So, technically, Loma is still the franchise champion for the WBC, even with that loss of Teofimo. I think it was just a photo op that he had the WBC belt, unless they're going to create a, a whole new belt for uh, Teofimo. And if that's the case, yo, this, this is just, it makes no sense. I just want a true undisputed, right? And if we're going to say, yo, you know what, Devin, your belt just doesn't count, bro. And the WBC agrees, like, yo, Devin, 
your 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 belt is like a Fisher Price belt. Did you watch the fight last night? Yeah, of course. We got one. We got an undisputed champion. Yo, no, 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 I, yo, listen, I'm just saying. I just want to make a quick point. I'm not just an ad lib. I'm not. I'm gonna give you the floor back. Right, 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 right. When the fight was over, they showed a graphic mm -hmm. with Bernard Hopkins, Jermaine Taylor, mm -hmm. uh, Alexander Usyk, and mm -hmm. Teofimo Lopez as the only four undisputed champions in the four belt era. I agree. So already, I love they're I love already it. counting them as undisputed. G. It's already no. The franchise belt does not count. Dude, so, they're already counting him as undisputed. So why no, are you... Here's the confusion. Here's the confusion. Yeah. D, mm -hmm. the franchise belt, I, I totally dig what you're saying, by the way. Mm -hmm. The franchise belt, though, you know what I'm saying, was the same way it is considered to be a super slash franchise belt. Because y'all know this. That's why we only have four um, um, undisputed champions with Crawford, Usyk, uh, uh, Taylor, and Bernard, right? Because the stars have to align, right? Mm -hmm. The stars for this to be undisputed fight, the stars were aligned long time ago, right? But this was the goal at hand. That's why the WBC elevated, and that's why they asked for him to be elevated to franchise towards trying to be undisputed. That was the goal. So, and, well, and why that question is. So is Teofimo the franchise WBC champion? He has to be because he has to be the I super. Hope, I hope he is. I'm going to tell you is. like this. I don't know that. Mauricio Suma literally said they will not transfer. Yo, yeah. you're, so talking I, about I, an older, you're talking about an older interview, bro. Here's yeah. all I know. I didn't look into it. Yo, this whole belt thing gets on my nerves. It does. It really all, does. All, all, all I know is I heard Mauricio Suleiman and I heard reports say, and I read that they were going to elevate Tio so that this fight would be for Undisputed. He's Undisputed. That's what exactly. I saw and that's what I read. So if that means, and, and so, gee, you got to look at it like this. They emailed the dude the belt. They took the belt away. Then they emailed it to him again. So you're right. Now, maybe they decided we're taking it away from you again and putting it on the line in this Undisputed fight. I don't know because I didn't follow all that. All I wanted to know was, is this fight for Undisputed or not? WBC said we're elevating uh, right, team or we're then elevating the other's fight. So this fight is for Undisputed. So, so if this is truly is Undisputed, then I would say, then, yo, provide Lomachenko. Actually, no. Nah, I, I, if I was T.O., I would not give Lomachenko a rematch because Loma didn't want a rematch. You know what I'm saying? Loma literally said, yo, we're not doing a rematch clause. So if Loma won... Loma wasn't going to give T.O. a rematch, so I don't think T.O. should give him a rematch. So I would say, yo, you know what, T.O., either fight he uh, uh, Haney or or, uh, or Davis. That's one of those two, you know what I mean? Regardless whether it's for belts or not, I think those fights could still be pay-per-view. And if he decides to do a rematch with Loma, it should also be pay-per-view. I think this kid is now at a level where he just beat Lomachenko. The arg like, people argue that he's pound for pound. You just beat the pound for pound, pound dude, Yo, you a pay-per-view star now. Go for the checks. You know what I'm saying? So if Loma is the big check for the rematch, then go for that. But if you can get the Devin Haney or the Tank fight, go for those. I think it's just those three options. Everyone else doesn't necessarily matter. But those guys right there, those are good quality fights that will generate a lot of money and a lot of buzz. All right, Dollar Bill, you look like, you, like you've like you been waiting to get in there, so I'm going to tag you in. Go ahead, Dollar Bill. <laughs> I'm like, gee, when you going to shut up? <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. Well, you, you've been patiently waiting. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you made some, 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 some good points. The belt thing, everybody knows I hate the whole belt thing. I think the belt thing, I just can't wait until Boxing Bros finally sits down and they do their Boxing Bros belts for every weight class. Once they do that. One champ, one face, one, champ. one name. Exactly. Well, I think we can all agree that T.O. should be that person right yeah. now. in that white, lightweight division. You mm -hmm. know? Like, but, like, G, I agree. There's other fights out, out there. There's Ryan Garcia. There's Tank. There's Devin. There's, there's other exciting guys at 135 that he can fight. Um, but I think the money will be in the rematch against Little Machenko. Because there's going to be a lot of people doubting, saying that this was a fluke. And now, you know, everybody's going to run to Julie's card 
looking for an excuse. Um, <clears throat> hey, Julie. That's, yeah. that's, hey, Julie. From, that's from Trill, but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you better, you, they better sit her down and make her explain that scorecard. Yeah. Any yeah. hint of funny business. Over some card. dinner. It's going to be a light dinner. The score gate because of Julie. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Me and Julie, oh, have, me and Julie, we gonna we gonna sit down and you gonna explain this uh, scorecard to me over a nice candlelight dinner. There's no way uh, we're letting Trill be the judge, <laughs> be the investigator on this case. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's I think that he should definitely do the rematch. I don't know. I just think that the fight was really close until the twelfth round. We don't know. It can they can switch over like we was talking about Bernard and Taylor. Taylor took the first one, Bernard took the second one. Maybe this might be the same one as that, you know? Um, Taylor dethroned um, Bernard, and then Bernard came back and got it right back. Same thing, Lopez can dethrone Loma, and Loma can come back and do it right back. We don't know, but I think that they should, because I don't see nobody else at 135. Trust me, I love Devin Haney, but I think Devin Haney needs to rub some more sand on his face. What I mean by that is... Devin Haney, Devin Haney needs a, a little bit more tough in tuning. Like, this is where we was talking about perception. We know Devin Haney from watching him grow up, right? And we seen him in there with greats. And we seen him being trained by greats. You know what I'm saying? And we seen him go in the ring and he does what he's supposed to do against the opposition that they put in front of him. But it hasn't been something that's been so spectacular that made me say, wow. He has to be tested as well. Lopez has been tested. And he passed the test. I want to see Devin. I don't want to set Devin up for something. We haven't even seen Devin in there take a real solid punch yet. From a real solid puncher. There's guys in there with five knockouts. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 16 losses. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? that we've seen Devin in there with. Not to take a knock from Devin, because I think he is special. But give Devin some more time. Put him in there with some, some, with some another uh, uh, Richie Kumey or somebody like that. You know what I'm saying? Let Lopez and, and Loma do this one more time. Let Lopez get a little bit more money. If, if, and this is a big if, if he can make the weight. Because for some odd reason, I seem like this is going to be difficult if they try to make that fight for him to make this weight again. And I think and, and Bob, I know Bob loves Loma so much, but if you want, you can start uh, grooming uh, Teofimo to be a two-division star by putting him in there with a Maurice Hooker and then going in and putting him in there with a Jose Ramirez afterwards if they can't make the Jose Ramirez-Josh Taylor fight. To me, because at 140, Josh Taylor's the man. You know what I'm saying? If he can't make that 135, let's don't try to just drain him so that he'll look messed up so he lose the next fight because he's drained trying to make one, one, 135. If anything, bring him on to 140. See what he can do there. So, but what about uh, Javante? Tate? Yeah. Oh, I mentioned, I mentioned Davis. I mentioned, but here's another thing with, with, with Tate. Tate is going down to fight 130 right now with uh, – with uh, Leo Santa Cruz. He got to worry about that. Now, even so, when that fight's going on, we don't even know the outcome of that. And I'm not going to sit here and give Tate the, a victory for some fight that hasn't happened yet. We just got to see if he was able to lose that weight in a safe way yeah, <laughs> so he can still be effective at 130. You know? To go against somebody like... uh. Trills heart, trills hearts with Leo, bro. You know, <laughs> he knows, he knows, he knows, he even big take. His hearts with Leo. <laughs> you know what I'm but no, nah, no, nah, definitely. I, I'm, I hope that they, they run it back. If Lopez, it's a big if. If Lopez can make the weight, but Bob, don't be over there forcing Lopez. To, to get down, if he can't make the way, he can't make the way. You got a star in your hands, and I know you have a love infatuation with Lomachenko, but you have a new star in your hands that could be something. You know what I'm saying? Don't pass this up by, by being a fangirl. You could do something with this kid. Move him the right way. Take him to 140, and then put him in there with some, some people and, and let him be a two-time division champion. I think he can do that. All right, Ned. 
Uh, nah, definitely they should. I would love to see a part two of this fight, but like, there's no rematch clause, and we don't know where it goes from here. But if this a rematch doesn't happen, I would like to see see him take on uh, Javante Davis because you know it. it That'd be an amazing fight to see right there. Like Tank Tank's been sitting uh in PVC. He had some good matches. Who you fight? Um what's his name? Who do you want to see take on Tank? You said uh, like who's uh, uh Tio. Tio. My man Tio. Take on oh take on Tank. Tio. That, another reason why I didn't entertain, excuse me, I don't mean to cut you off on that. The reason why I wasn't even being disrespectful, either, G, the reason why I really didn't entertain the Davis fight is because they gonna keep him across the street. Yeah. They gonna make this big whole big thing. You know what I'm saying? But but go on. The Devin Haney fight can happen quicker yeah. than the take. Yeah, fight. yeah. That would be a big fight for both, especially since they just gave you know this fight. If they if, if they were to run the part two, they would do they would probably try to pay, um do pay per view or do it on the ESPN app where you would have to pay to watch it. But I see like. I, I like it was a free fight. Everybody enjoyed it. I see this fight being Tank versus Teal would be like a big, a big like a, a, a low key, a, a low key mega fight for me. For me, I I, I would think it'd be a mega fight because these two stars, like it's something. Uh, yeah, yeah, it'd be two power hitters. You know what I mean? Yeah, it would be pretty nice. And like, oh, it's gonna end in the knockout. Hopefully, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. So. I'm rocking with you, man. Don't worry. I'm nah, rocking. and that whole belt conversation I was having earlier that just made me like, like when I, while I was learning like calculus and just I was just confused, like what the heck? <laughs> what the heck just is confused, all this? Man. Man, man, was, man, man, was, man, man, it felt man. like the belt. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what the heck? He, 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 belt, he got the belt. He don't got the belt. He, <laughs> two people the WBA. The same belt he got. <laughs> two people. He got like what? It's like it's, it's, yeah, but, oh, it yeah. don't make sense. But Ned. Just because it's not a rematch clause doesn't mean they can't still. Yeah, be. I know. Okay, I know. Right. I'm just saying. I would love to see. It. I like. I would love to see a part two of this match. It was a very good fight, but if 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 they don't have a part two, they got to set up that tank and Tio fight. Yo, that'd be that'd be that'd be dope. That'd be fire. Not goes buzzers, knockouts. Mm-hmm. So I believe a rematch is imminent. Um, the reason why is because it's the Bob Aram way. Um, look at Manny Pacquiao. He fought Marquez four times. He fought <laughs> Timothy Bradley three times. This is the Bob Arum way. Um, he doesn't like to do business outside of top rank. He wants his top rank guys to fight top rank guys. So if they lose, they only lose the top rank guys and the belt stay within his stable. So this is what he does. Um, we're talking about Devin Haney versus Teofimo Lopez. It's a pipe dream. It's not going to happen. Devin Haney is with uh, Matchroom Boxing, I believe. So there's no way in hell he's going to let his undisputed champion fight Devin, the two-time email champion, because Devin has everything to gain and nothing to lose. Top rank has everything to lose. It's not happening. Get the pipe dream out of your head. There's no way he's letting Teofimo Lopez fight uh, Davis. Yeah, it could be entertaining for pay-per-view. Yeah, you can make some pay-per-view money. Davis has a little following himself. Davis knocks people out. Teofimo Lopez has power. But they have everything to lose and nothing to gain. Again, <laughs> the first title defense for the man who just became a star by beating Vasily Lomachenko, and you're going to give Javante Davis the opportunity to just walk away with four belts? He didn't bring anything to the table, but you're just going to let him walk away with four belts. It's not going to happen. It was two top-ranked fighters that had the opportunity to fight for Undisputed. One top-ranked fighter has the label Undisputed right now. They're keeping it. And remember, Devin is the one who was emailed the WBC belt. So the zone has the email champion. Top rank has the guy who's viewed as the Undisputed champion. There's no way in hell... Bob Arum's letting them fight Devin. There's no way in hell Bob Arum's letting them fight Javante Davis. And I hope I'm wrong. But I feel like history will show I'm right. Manny Pacquiao versus Marquez 4. Timothy Bradley versus Manny Pacquiao 3. And, you know, and everyone's shocked, like, a lot of people, although I, I, I think the decision is what, is what it was, and I, and, and, and I don't necessarily disagree with the decision. I thought it was a close fight. Uh, Timothy Bradley versus Manny Pacquiao 1. 
people didn't like the decision. So what did that do? It created Timothy Bradley versus Manny Pacquiao too. Manny Pacquiao wins, so now what do we have? Timothy Bradley versus Manny Pacquiao three. These scorecards kind of look like it didn't matter what Loma did, right? It was going to go against Loma, right? So what was that going to do? Create Loma versus Teofimo Lopez two. Now Loma wins Teofimo Lopez versus Loma two, and guess what you have? Three. <laughs> Depending on how that goes, Bob Arum will make it four. <laughs> four. Bob Arum is the master at milking the cow. Speaking Bruh, of which, it's the same oh, exact thing as of which, what we got. Tyson Fury versus Deontay yeah. Wilder one. Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder two. And although it's completely unnecessary, even to Deontay Wilder, they were trying to make Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder three because this is the Bob Arum method: beat scrubs, build my fighters up. Get Chocolatito ranked number one. Get triple. Get get all these guys who aren't really number one. Get Terrence Crawford ranked number one. Terrence don't need to fight no one as long as I get him ranked number one and I can sell him to the public and perception. make them, everyone is done. Perception. I keep making these fights. So here's what you're gonna have. You're gonna have Lopez versus Loma two. That's what I believe, and I hope I'm proven wrong. I I would love for them to announce To versus uh. Haney, T.O. versus Davis, but that's not our, even T.O. versus Ryan Garcia, but that's not going to happen. If T.O. fights anyone over than Vasily Lomachenko, it will be someone who, who doesn't even stand a chance of winning. It'll be someone who has some prior damage, someone who was shot, someone who got <laughs> broken eye sockets, someone who, who, who that's, like, that's going to be who, who they put in the ring with uh, T.O. Fimo Lopez. And there's no shot at T.O. I'm just saying, this is Bob Arum's M.O. I've seen this game before. I know the game like I'm roughing it. That's why people get mad at me. When I say something, they get mad and then they attack me and then time proves me right. But that just is what it is. So I believe that the rematch is imminent. And I believe we will see the rematch. And the rematch needs to happen immediately because Vasily Lomachenko's old, 32, and aging, getting older, and T.O. is not going to be able to make the wait for long. So okay. don't be surprised when they announce the rematch. It's a good fight. It was a good fight. If Loma starts earlier, it could probably be even a better fight. So I'm not mad at it, but let's be real. The money, the history, everything points toward a rematch. I expect a rematch. I agree. Let us know what you feel uh, in the comment section. Check us out on Instagram and Twitter. And also check out our podcast on all major streaming services. We are the Boxing Bros. MFBB. Catch me creeping down the dark street. This is where me and the zombies meet. Guarantee we all gonna eat. It's zombie red again with HD. I'm a zombie in the night, you better run for me. Zombie red in the house, you better run, homie. Brought a mask and some gloves with some thugs with me. I came to do damage, you wanna purge with me. Super Saiyan zombie, I'll be.